folks, this is Elton with DC Collectors Exchange. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Kotobukiya Artifacts Gorilla Garage statue. <clears throat> As many of you know, uh, he is one of the Flash's arch enemies. You may have seen him on some so-so recent episodes of The Flash on the CW. He is a super intelligent gorilla. And he seems to have a hard-on for the Flash for some reason. But, let's get to it. This statue is amazing. He is 10 inches tall from the top of his wrist, his left wrist, to the bottom of his feet. Uh, he does come with the skull uh, separate. It's not attached to the hand like that. But it does fit in the hand. But it's a little bit difficult to kind of get it to stay. So once you, you know, you get it to stay... I wouldn't recommend removing it, that's why I'm not going to take it off. <clears throat> he is a hard resin statue. He's got some good weight to him. Uh, I'd say he weighs at least a pound. At least. Uh, it's not a hollow, plastic, uh, blow-molded statue by any means. It is solid resin, definitely. And you can see that he has some amazing detail. All of the fur. It is highly detailed. It is. It has a wonderful texture to it. Uh, the paint app on this is amazing as well. You can see the gold accented belt there. The loin cloth. It's very sturdy. It's not cheap cloth. It's not cheap plastic. It, it is also is molded from a very dense material. <clears throat> you can also stick the skull in the other hand if you choose, but it would kind of make his left hand look funny sitting like that. And let's get an up close look at that face. Look at that. Oh man, this guy is so realistic looking. He has the red eyes. Yeah, red eyes, the teeth, very vicious looking. Give it a look at that face from the left side. You can see the quality of the sculpt. Overall, it's just amazing. And the skull is done very well as well. I mean, it is very, it looks very realistic. I mean, right now, look at the detail in the teeth. That's how good the quality of this one is. And he does come with his uh, his helmet. Very high quality helmet as well. And it comes with that little strap on it. And what, ha what you do with it is the strap will come down, fit over his, his front teeth. You can fix it however you want. If you choose to fix it, if you choose not to, you know, keep it affixed, whatever. It's up to you. But see, he looks so good with that helmet on. And the gold paint app on this and the detail of the helmet as well is, is very, very meticulous. Even the body art here. The lightning bolts. It's wonderful. And he also comes with his cape. Very high quality, very well detailed. Very thick, very solid. And then it just fits right on. So you can get a good look at him. And it does, it'll stay on if you're standing up, of course, you know, like this. But we're doing it at an angle so you can get a good look at the way he looks there. And one of the things that I really like about this statue is the deck that he stands on, the stand. You think, oh, well, he's just going to stand on that. He's just going to fall over. Wrong. Wrong. Why, you ask? Because it is magnetic. And it's not a little cheap magnet either. It is a very powerful magnet. And he will stay on that. He will not fall over. I mean, he, he would if you hit him hard enough. But it, it would take some a, a good amount of force. You know. You would have to physically grab him... But, push him over but that magnet works really well it holds it right in place so this is the Kotobukiya artifacts gorilla grod statue one of the better members of flash's rogues gallery if you ask me i highly recommend you getting this i mean this is a wonderful statue he's big he's weighty you know, he has some heft to him, and he will look great in your collection. I use him to, uh, uh, I pose him with my uh, Multiverse Flash figures, 
and some of the other figures from the the Arrow and Flash series. And with his, you know, with his size and he scales very well with them. Very well. Uh, hold on a second. Let me grab a flash and we'll take a look. Let's see. Here we go. Here's Flash. And that, see, that scales really well. That's the DC Collectibles one. It scales very well with that grod. I mean, that's about the correct scale from what we saw on the TV show. So... I definitely recommend him. Come check us out on Facebook. We have our our uh, group, DC Collectors Exchange. We also have our DC Collectors Exchange page. If you want to keep up on what's going on, but you know don't want to actively join a group. So make sure to come check us out. And thanks a lot, guys. Y'all have a good one. Check out our next video. You don't frighten me. Try that again and I'll...